Hi, and welcome back to the Race Coordinator Race Configuration Tutorials. Um, in this race, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to create custom rotation files. Um, these are the files that are used to um, run custom rotation races. Um, a custom rotation race is obviously, well, is what it sounds like. It's a race in which you provide a 100% user customizable heat rotation sequence. Um, it's quite limitless in what you can do. You can do anything you want. Um, you know, and I'm just going to show you how to set them up. It's uh, let's get right to it. Um, so we're going to use the we're going to use the uh, race manager for this again. Again, you can use the wizard. Um, I'm going to use the manager because I like to copy um, a, a previous race. In this case, I'm going to use the tutorial uh, round robin race that we'd set up previously. Um, you know, you get things like the callouts, you get timings, all that stuff. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the heat rotation setup, and you'll see here in this heat view down here. Um, that there are 20 heats, if I can get all the way down, um, and that is because um, over on the right hand side here I've added 20 drivers, you can't see it, and you can only see 10, but there are 20, and so it's currently showing you the round robin format. So to set up a custom, uh, to do a custom rotation race uh, where you supply the files for it instead of a round robin type of sequence, you click this button here, now you'll notice the heat rotations are gone. Um, that is because I have not selected any custom rotation files. So the first thing we're going to do is um, you can download files off the off our website. We do have the EA Hork custom rotation files. Um, they work for 7 to 32 drivers, I believe, something like that. Um, or you can create your own. And I'm going to show you how to create your own first and we'll go from there. Um, a couple of things to note about the custom rotation files. Uh, very important. The custom rotation files are for a specific number of drivers and a specific number of lanes on the track. Um, therefore, if you need, if you, so if your club races or you race at home and you have anywhere between, say, four and twenty drivers uh, racing on any given night, you have to guarantee you have to have files that cover each one of those. Now, what Race Coordinator will do is it will allow you to first off add more than one file to a race, so so you can specify this is the file I want to use if there are four drivers, this is the file I want if there are five, this is the one if, if there are six, seven, etc., um, all the way up to say twenty if you know twenty is the most you've ever had or you ever will have. Race Coordinator will pick the best file that matches the number of drivers you have. So it will pick a file that supports more drivers than drivers you have if, if that's the best it can do, and it'll leave empty lanes in that case. So if you have if you set up a file for 20 drivers but you only have 10, drivers 11 through 20 that were specified in the file will not have you know will not be there and will just appear as empty lanes. So you could even end up with entire empty heats in that case. Um, so it's a good idea to have file that covers each one of the number of people you might have and, and unfortunately that's just the way it is because there's literally nothing you can't do in these files so it just has to be you set up exactly how each heat works for all the for um, for the entire race um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create one right now so I'm going to use the rotation editor to, rotation editor to do that um, Basically what you do is you tell it how many drivers, again, because you have to specify it, how many drivers are the, uh, the ro this, this particular file is going to be for, and then it'll fill it in over here. And then you just specify each heat you want. Now, you know, with four drivers, you could have one heat, you could have two, on a four-lane track, you could have one heat, you could have two, you could have a hundred heats, even with four drivers, if you wanted to somehow do it. Um, but for us, let's say we're going to do, um, we're going to make a specific uh, format here. And let, let's just say we want to do a... Um, a race in which this race this race format is going to be such that we only use the red and blue blue lanes, um, and we and, and each driver races on both the red and the blue lane. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all the heats that we have currently, so that you can see, um, so that I can start basically from scratch. So here's heat number two. Now there's heat one. You can't remove heat one; it won't let you. Um, so I'm just going to remove all the drivers from it um, by selecting the lane. So there's two things you can do here. You can select the heat itself, <clears throat> excuse me, and and act on the heat, um, typically removing the heat, or you can select the driver within the heat, the lane within the heat, and then select a driver, for example, and add the driver or, or remove the driver. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add three more heats, one, two, three, four, and now we're going to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select red lane, heat one, and I'm just going to select driver one and add them over. Now you'll notice number one seat is there. Um, I'm going to select the blue lane because, again, we're not using the white lane, and I'm going to put driver 2 in the blue lane. So this is our first heat, and it's done. It's now set up. Now, in the second heat, I'm going to set up um, drivers 3 and 4, so we're going to basically alternate um, 
not only are we going to alternate, uh, um, like which set of drivers race we're going to alternate, you know, we're, we're just going to, we're going to do this in sort of a haphazard way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So now we've got drivers three and four in the red and blue lanes. Now for heat three, I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mi mix up the pairings even. So, um, in driver four has not raced on the red lane, so I'm going to put him in there now. So he's going to race in back to back lanes. And now this time he's going to be paired up in the against driver one in the blue lane. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Driver two has not appeared in the red lane. Okay, how do we get a heat five here? Let's get rid of heat five. We don't want that heat. So um, driver two is going to appear in the red lane in the fourth heat. We're going to add him in. And then in the blue lane, it will be driver three. Now, what Race Coordinator provides, what this provides is a validation button down here you'll see. When you click on this button, it will tell you exactly how the heat lays out as compared to a round-robin race. And a round-robin race, of course, assumes every driver races on every single lane once and only once. So you can see here it's complaining that driver 1 isn't on 2 and 4, 2 isn't on 2 and 4, 3 isn't on 2 and 4, 4 isn't on 2 and 4. Um, that's because we've chosen to not race on line, lanes 2 and 4. Because this is a custom setup, it's perfectly acceptable. All we have to do now is say save. So we're going to go save custom heat. Now, I've tried to run this tutorial before and found some bugs in RC that I've since fixed. Um, so you'll see here that the file is already there. I'm just going to save over the one that I previously created, and I'm going to say save. Now, another thing you can do with the custom rotations, with this custom rotation editor, is you can load up one of the previously created ones to, as a starting point or, or whatever. So in this case, I'm going to load up. So as I said before, you need one for each number of, of, of drivers you have. Now, in this particular case, the four lane one actually works for, for three as well, um, or two or one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up the six lane one, or I'm sorry, six driver one. Now, again, it's going to be basically uh, the same type of setup, except now there are six heats instead of four. Um, I didn't finish setting this one up. Interesting. So, so here you've got one and two. Here you've got three and four. Um, we'll finish setting this one up because clearly I have not. Um, so there's three and four. Now there's two and one. Now on heat four, there's four and three. So this is a slightly different format than before, but that's okay. I mean, this is just whatever we want. So now here I'm going to set up driver five, just like before. Driver six, just like before. You know, so this is obviously this is a different setup than the four one, and you probably want to do something like more consistent, where you alternate part like driving partners and things like that, whatever you want to do. But again, this is custom rotations. You can do whatever you want. So again, if we go into validate here, and I've only got about two more minutes here, but if you go to validate, you'll see five and six. None of these guys driving two and four. There are no other warnings. It will give you other warnings if the same driver races on the red lane twice or if he appears in the same heat twice, it will give you all of those um, error messages or, you know, check for all of those different conditions. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save this and I'm going to save it over the one that we had there before. So now I have two files. So you would do this for all the combinations you have. Oh, and you'll notice I skipped for five drivers. Well, that's because the six driver version is just as good as the five driver version because if you only had five drivers you would just remove driver six from the red lane here and in, 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 in heat six and the blue lane in heat five and they'd be empty. Well that's what race coordinator is going to do if you only have five drivers anyways so you may as well save yourself some time and headache and not create that extra file. Um, so to run this race as a custom rotation you would simply create all the files you need and then one at a time select them. So now I've got a four lane one here and you'll see here um, it has selected the four lane one because it's the only one I have even though over here I have 20 drivers um, which means in this current configuration drivers 5 through 50, uh, through 20 will be empty and will not race so now I'm going to add the second one which is the six lane one and now you'll notice there's six heats instead because race coordinator said oh at least I can get two more drivers in now only 7 through 20 won't race. So you can see if I added one that had 20 in, race coordinator would pick that one and all the drivers would be able to race. So that's it. That's how you set up your custom rotation. Don't forget if you want to you know, change this format, you need to either add or update. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because that's not really the point. We're going to do a different one in a minute. In the next tutorial, we're going to do another one and show you um, using the EA Hork custom rotation file since there's so many of them. Um, but that's it. Um, Create whatever you want. Go crazy. It's really up to you.